Good day, good light, and great love, illuminators and way showers. And yes, you all are illuminators, illuminating the way to your consciousness, to your higher heart, to all that you are, and to being the, that, that bright light inside of you, um, glowing, that others may see you glow, and that you show the way for others to know thyself more fully simply by being who you truly wish to be. <sighs> so, I wanted to share this weird, I don't want to say weird experience, but I wanted to share this interesting experience that I had just a little while ago and how spirit, our spirit, our guides, we, our higher selves, how they communicate with us. And this is one of the things I love to share. So I'm burning a, a beeswax candle. I just lit it um, at the last minute because I'm li literally swimming in this yellow, like yellow and black energy, but this yellow energy, solar plexus energy. And every time I'm being guided to a particular color or a particular action, <laughs> um, like cutting yellow flowers. There's there's always a reason and a message. I've been sharing the the I've been guided to share these the flowers through if you've seen a couple of the videos with the um the soul flower oracle and the language and and the languages of flowers the link excuse me the language of flowers and that's really what this these videos have been about is the language of flowers how they speak to us how we respond to them how they interact with our chakra system and the messages that they bring and how we have agreed to interact with the with with these colors and, and the rainbow and the vibrations and the messages and the resonance of these colors, um, as we've talked about many times before in these videos, I was, I was having an experience where I was feeling like just all of a sudden completely like stressed out. Like it was like, I wanted to do these things. And it's like, have you ever wanted to like, you know, ladies, gentlemen, whoever, however you present yourselves, wanted to do your nails or do something else really bad and it's all of a sudden it's like oh but I have this to do and I have that to do and yes I have belief systems that I need to do the things I need to do before I can do the fun things like making a video which is actually one of the things I've been taught and like to teach is that it's the other way around following your highest joint excitement even though it might be washing <laughs> doing the laundry um, I it was like I wanted to do my nails but wanting to do my nails for days since I did a video the other day and yet every time I go to do it it's like something that's going to require messing up my hands seems to need to be done first and need to be done first and um you know I've got loads of laundry to do there's laundry going there's laundry that needs to be put away you know I'm changing the sheets it's like you know how it is all of those things do not lend to a manicure <laughs> um and plus there was just so many other things that I'm like, and which we make up in our heads. I got to do this and I got to do that. And I have to do this before I can do that. And all of a sudden it's like something just guided me to go outside and get the plants. Now, um, it's been, as I mentioned before, it's been extremely hot here, hot and humid. And so I went out on the front porch to get the, to, to get the plants that I had watered and bring them into the shade. And something said to me, walk down to the garden and look for some flowers, look at flowers. And then I heard yellow, just yellow, yellow, solar plexus, yellow flowers. Um, so I started looking in the garden at different yellow flowers to see which ones that might be in this book and, or in my other deck of cards. And so, the, the only one of, of these yellow flowers here, so I've got um, Coreopsis, I've got Black Eyed Susan, and Cosmos. And it 
it was, I kept hearing yellow, solar plexus. This is about your solar plexus, your inner light. Um, when I start to feel that way, that there's just so many things that always need our attention that we don't necessarily want to be doing. And we're, when we really need to be taking time for ourselves first, um, and I am the worst at that because I always feel like everything else has to be done. Um, but, but then again, I really have over the last whatever years, nine years have always really put making videos first because it what it, it literally shifts my vibration. Um, and so as I'm looking at the yellow flowers and I'm gathering the yellow flowers um, and I brought them in the house, I was also reminded that I have this awesome bag that was from it, from an old friend um, that's, she's been just a soul sister for all, for since I started my channel. And she sent me this bag. She actually took a photograph and then had a, had a, a, a bag made out of it. And I love it. I still use it to this day. And it would happen to be sitting right there too. So I'm I'm feeling how grateful I am and the, the similarity of the flowers and um, Black Eyed Susans and bees. <laughs> um, and I was out there with the bees and I started to feel something in my, in, oops, in my solar plexus. And uh, it was just an over, it was like this overwhelming, like, observance that's what I want to say it was a an, uh, a, an inv invitation from my higher self to be an observance of why I was feeling the way that I was feeling and not just why it was but how do I transform that into a feeling I prefer or that they were thoughts about myself yeah I'm not good enough and I and I don't deserve to do bad until I do this and and not being able to get it all done and, and wanting to share, like share with all of you and often feeling like, you know, I should be tending to other things first. Um, <laughs> and I very rarely sit in this room either because, well, my chairs are kind of uncomfortable, so I don't like to sit in them for lengths of time. Um, but I didn't feel like carrying all the flowers upstairs and or downstairs. <laughs> and then I had to go get the cards and it was that important for me to do the video, um, but I didn't. I didn't want to also make it. I didn't want to talk myself out of it either, um, because I always know too if it's if it's something I'm guided to do or feel, then I know that it's some and, and to share. Then I know that someone somebody needs to hear it, and so I kept hearing this idea of my, the sun inside of you. That's what I kept hearing when the sun inside of you, the sun inside of you. And today's July 1st. Happy July, everybody. Wow, just, I, of course, it's, it's sometimes it's wacky to think how we make up time and linear time and how here we are already in the, you know, in the seventh month of 2024. So whether it's brand new summertime for you here in the nor Northern Hemisphere or if it's wintertime for all of you, I felt the same thing about the sun, whether it was the, sol the sun, summer sun or the winter sun. There was this brightness, this strength, this illumination inside that um, I felt sort of maybe all over the planet. I'm not really sure. It was like I, I could literally hear it's the winter sun and the summer sun, um, you know, and, and how each one of those has such brilliance and amazingness at different times of year for all of us, no matter where we live. Um, and, and all the places, you know, and all the all of that in between, the seasons in between. And <clears throat> so I found out of both of these decks, the Black Eyed Susan was the only one that, that was um, in the book. And so I thought, okay, well, that's it, you know. And then I'm, I'm feeling that when I see the, the, the blood, and actually I just put them in water, but when I see the Black Eyed Susans, um, it's almost like I have this, it, like the sunflower, that the sacred geometry, the same kind of feeling. Um, yet for me, it also symbolizes kind of the ending of the season because when I, 
I was born and raised up north of Chicago, and the Black Eyed Susans didn't come to like the very end of the season. And here, the psych, the seasons are going so fast um, that the, I haven't experienced this speeding up of the seasons. Um, it's the first time I've lived in like the subtrop subtropical area where I have really paid attention to the seeds and how long they take and when how long things take to bloom and it just seems like it's so much so much more accelerated here and so I started feeling this sort of overwhelming of acceleration inside like I needed to do more and be more and but I was experiencing it as anxiety instead of excitement and I'm so that's when I know it's time to kind of stop what I'm doing and listen to my guides and do what they're telling me and because I know it's me talking to me. And so I wanted to take a moment to um, read something to you, which I thought was very interesting. So, the okay, so, and it's funny because I'm looking at the clock right now. It's 1.47 p.m. So when I see 111, I see 47, I see 11. So 111 on the 1st of July. And so, um, and happy to all, happy birthday to all you July babies, including my youngest son. Um, his birthday is on the 3rd of July. And I always thought of how cool it was that he wasn't born on a holiday and that he's born on the 3rd, which here in the, in the United States, for all of you know, it's a holiday on the 4th. So he always has his birthday off <laughs> on the 4th of July. So I thought that was kind of funny, but, um, so I was thinking about July and July birthdays as well. And I really do like, I like to, I wanted to do a month reading too for the, for the month of July and all that too. But, um, so I just wanted to throw that out there too, because birthday and candles and light and, and all that. So I was guided to right away, look up solar plexus. Um, and the first thing that comes up is this AI review, which I don't know if you guys can see that, but. AI, AI overview, excuse me. The solar plexus, also known as the celiac plexus, is a nerve center in the abdomen that controls the functions of several organs and bodily processes. Organs. The solar plexus regulate the liver, pancreas, and gallbladder. Bodily functions. The solar plexus is part of the aut I'm sorry autonomic nervous system and is involved in the automatic functions like breathing and blood pressure regulation. It also sends signals between the brain and the gut. <laughs> Stress response. And here it is. The solar plexus mediates the body's stress response, which can include the fight or flight response. And there it was. Whatever this feeling I was conjuring about myself about, I should be doing this, I should be doing that. Um, this should come first. I'm not good enough. Why can't I keep up with it all? Um, why is there really always so much to do and, and, and take care of and repair and clean? And it always seems like, you know, there's not enough time in the day to do the things we love, which is ridiculous because of course we know we create time. And I know I've, I worked full time, I raised the kids, I know, and I'm, you know, now this is my love, this is my work, this is my joy. And this is what I do <laughs> for a living. And so I was immediately getting the response. When I start to feel that way, stop everything I'm doing and come and make the video. <sighs> make the video. Just make the video. Follow your highest joy and excitement moment by moment. You know, making the bed is going to wait. Putting the laundry away another hour or another day is fine. It is like 100 degrees outside. I don't want to be outside. Um, and... Yet, I still got to bring the outside in. And so when, when, when that said, it was, you know, directly related to the, you know, the, the stress response, I thought, okay, that's why I stopped what I'm doing. Because I was, I was, I was just creating 
my mind was creating a sense of stress that it was like immediately as we raise our vibrations, we begin to see the bullshit of all of that and we understand it's my mind that's creating it. It's, I'm having the experience of it. And why am I having that experience? And if it's an experience I don't prefer, how can I rechannel that, that feeling? Because anxiety is just the other side of excitement. So I'm, am I feeling the anxiety because I'm not following my excitement? Absolutely. Don't we all? <laughs> Isn't that the number one reason that we have anxiety? Because we believe we're not being true to ourselves. We're not speaking our voice. We don't have the job we like. We don't live where we want. We aren't, our life isn't what it looks like. It's like, oh my God, I'm this age and I'm not where I thought I would be. Um, uh, all of those things that the stories that we tell ourselves um, are, are the other side of excitement. Where are we not following our highest joy and excitement? Because that's where all of the anxiety comes from. So even when I worked and I started channeling and started speaking light languages, it was, I had already begun lighting a candle early in the morning, getting up early and making, connecting with my higher self and my angels a priority, even if it was for five minutes. And I'm not kidding. Even if I only had five minutes, that changed my life. Um, I love coffee. So I wanted to read something briefly out of the Soul Flower um, uh, Plant Spirit Oracle. The Soul Flower Plant Spirits. What is really hard, and I just happen to open to this page, and okay, if you look at the flower that's on this page, um, kind of looks a lot like a Black Eyed Susan. What is really hard and really amazing is giving up on being perfect and beginning to work of becoming yourself. And that's a quote by Anna Quidlin. Consider the truth that you are the most powerful healer available to you and that you carry within you everything you need to be happy and to be whole. If that couldn't have been, and it's like I'm getting all emotional right now, because if that couldn't have been a better message for me, I don't know what was in that moment. And immediately I knew I just needed to share it with someone. Um, and the meaning of the Black Eyed Susan, and I typically don't read the whole pages um, because I really do like to let us all feel, feel the message. And I was going to say earlier that the colors in the Black Eyed Susan, that the groundingness of, of the dark center is like the groundingness of our sacred geometry that is already within us. And then that solar plexus where this is what lights us up. This is where we shine. Um, and this is where we need to remind ourselves how we're already perfect. We are already the healer inside of us. We have everything we need to heal. Even if that means you're guided to this video, you're guided to go do something, go somewhere, have something, um, that that's part of it. And so the message on the card is recognition. <laughs> so right away, I'm going to say before I even read the card is recognizing that moment, a recognition of those moments, a recognition that I have a choice, a recognition that I can breathe, a recognition that is that anxiety is just simply the other side of excitement. And where do we need to express our excitement in every way, even if it's at your job place and you're afraid to be yourself? Maybe that's the recognition. That maybe that's what's going to get you the recognition. No, is being you. Maybe it gets you left. Maybe it gets you out of the job. Maybe that's part of what you need is to be recognized to, for you to recognize you don't want to be there anymore. Um, recognizing the anxiety and asking yourself, well, what is it? You know, um, 
I remember the old, you know, 12-step program. I remember them teaching us, you know, halt, H-A-L-T, am I hungry, angry, lonely, or tired? Um, and what, so what is it? What is it that works? What is it that I'm experiencing? Is it one of those things? And if it's none of those things, then what is it? Is it because if, if it's not being present, it's not being now because it's either in the past or the future. Like I'm right now, as I was thinking all those things, I wasn't being present. I was thinking about, well, I should be doing this and I should be doing that. And what do I got to do? And what do I have to do for dinner? And none of those things were being present. What was being present was stopping what I was doing and walking outside and taking that moment to ask myself, why am I being so irritable? What What's going on? And we didn't sleep well last night. Abby had a weird night, and she wanted to sleep with us, and so she was kind of tossing and turning. And so we, you know, kind of, you know, puffy eyed today, and she's sleepy, and um, and that's another reason I wanted to stay down here because she's down here sleeping, and um, so I wanted to kind of be down here with her because um, sometimes if I go upstairs to make a video while Dave's working, then you know she wants to know where I'm at, <laughs> where I'm at, and wants to be with me. Um, so I thought I'll just be with her today. We're all kind of, you know, a little tired. And so, um, so recognition. So we can look at that idea of recognition um, in many, many ways. But I think right now, for me, it's the idea of recognizing the anxiety and recognizing, well, what's what's causing it? Because it's the number one cause is always, am I following my high strain excitement as far as I can take it moment by moment? And I know sometimes when we're when we're working or we're we're caring for someone, or you know, in any of those, whatever it may be, um, it's recognizing that how then can I either make that more exciting or walk away for a few minutes. Um, I, I told Dave, too, I said, I feel I really want to go camping, and I really, really want to go on vacation, and it's just too hot. It's just simply too hot to be outside or sleep outside. So then I realized, okay, then there's other things. Then there's other things. And I always think, well, yeah, I got to clean because I got to do this, and the blinds, and the windows, and the floors, and ah, yeah, yeah, you know, and, you know, and the, and the bathrooms, and, and so I'm just, I'm, just like everybody else with all this stuff, you know, that we, and then, you know, that, and then of course feeling responsible, you know, that other people are happy and everyone else is rested and fed and cared for. And yet we can't do that. We hear that all the time. You can't do that unless you're rested and cared for and calm. And then we respond to circumstances like my washing machine right now that will not spin my blanket like I'm on five tries and I'm like okay I hear it right now and it's out of balance again <laughs> and I've done a video about this before so <laughs> maybe it's time for me to say it's time for uh, maybe I need a new washing machine <laughs> um, so there we go let's see okay let's just see how long it takes to manifest a washing machine now because um, even Dave mentioned something about it the other day so it doesn't always Sometimes we don't manifest things the way we want them to because I'm now showing love and appreciation and gratitude all the time for my washer. It's like, I love you, I love you, keep working. <laughs> um, and show appreciation for it. So, But I can hear it now. And that's another reason why I don't usually do videos down here. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. Recognition. Sometimes it's easier to bury hurt feelings and difficult emotions. Well, that's exactly it too, what I was trying to do too, is I was trying to bury these emotions that I was feeling instead of recognizing them. Um, and when I stopped trying to bury them and I, I wanted to recognize them, that's sort of like when my, my, my inner son came out. Black Eyed Susan gently helps you to wake up and recognize all aspects of yourself even those you deem ugly or unworthy well see what a perfect message even those you deem ugly or unworthy <laughs> even your deepest darkest truths need to be shown the light of love and honored as a part of your human experience and I just saw 2444 on the timestamp, so. <laughs> so.
So I, I just oh, I just flipped the page and I saw this um, quote by Maya Angelou. And it's uh, the page is is blooming summer slash full moon. You are not excuse me. You alone are enough. You have nothing to prove to anyone. So let's just take a nice deep breath together and stoke that fire inside of you because it takes air to light a fire. And let this light language illumination help us all recognize our excitement when it feels like anxiety let's let's all let's all take a moment to recognize that it it is excitement wrapped in fear and belief systems that are no longer serving us les motivesche et les murake les mote elezono miala la gone ti ambaria son un corumba shatetea lazini Lazini che non mi ha la giornata che è la zanna che te sette tu coina la gente che giorno giù va giù ne cali a nomoa a taia la cotto vismoro o lo sotto pro che ti asa se vesso monio no coi a taia la sopolo o sotto versa maia na e che ti si ti allo sofa Sano shoti malukuje ti tianate zondo koina la soto komi ala jada ate kialite kasa tashanaya. It sounds like a drum beating over there. Nikale ko sobaya shanti ala ko soba shnotoya anina yataya ko koyata ishitiki city. Se non fosse su ni alla zuma corumbogia in scelta che ne ha la vasa maria la catea la zuma pove mora o ne e catea la zuma cosho po usciuccio anate che zuma tomiana e se soparco so to uversiona te chi chi ha so in that moment I'm literally sending gratitude to my washing machine while still picturing the new one in its place. The Giano Sobachi, Ete Giala, Sopadoa, Echete Nea, Onumala, all in perfect timing. Lucina, I should have called TV Smala. Thank you guys. Thank you for shining your sun wherever you are, whenever you are. Like Mosa Division Niala. I love you.